Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome as we come to the end of this week and celebrate today the feast day of St. Joseph the Worker. And this feast day came about to foster a deeper devotion to Joseph. And in response to the May Day celebrations for workers sponsored by the communists, so Pope Pius XII instituted the feast day of St. Joseph the Worker in 1955. We know Joseph, the husband of Mary and the foster father of Jesus, spent a lifetime laboring as a carpenter. And you can believe that his greatest motivation for working wasn't a quest to gain great riches or have some great status in society, but it was a desire to serve God and to care for his family in a loving way. You know, Joseph never worked any miracles. He never gave any great speeches. He wasn't publicly recognized in any way, but he was a humble worker. Joseph labored and was given an important role in God's plan of salvation. And so a reminder on this feast day that work is not intended for an end in itself, as some way just to gain a lot of earthly things. Rather, we are reminded that when we can work, we glorify God, and it's helping us prepare for eternal life. And honest and humble labor is a source of true human dignity. And St. Joseph was that simple carpenter, and through that, he was able to gain great holiness and you can bet that he was a great example to Jesus Christ. And so in light of the struggles of work and with the COVID-19 virus pandemic, let us renew our commitment to St. Joseph to pray for us and help us in this time of not being able to work or those who are working in dangerous situations and holding up that dignity that all can contribute to the good of our world through the gift of work. And may St. Joseph and our Blessed Mother continue to care and watch over each one of us and our church. And so I conclude with a prayer to St. Joseph for workers. Joseph, by the work of your hands and the sweat of your brow, you supported Jesus and Mary and had the Son of God as your fellow worker. Teach me to work as you did, with patience and perseverance, for God and for those whom God has given me to support. Teach me to see in my fellow workers the Christ who desires to be in them, that I may always be charitable and forbearing towards all. Grant me to look upon work with the eyes of faith, so that I shall recognize in it my share in God's own creative activity and in Christ's work of our redemption, and so take pride in it. When it is pleasant and productive, remind me to give thanks to God for it. And when it is burdensome, teach me to offer it to God in reparation for my sins and the sins of the world. St. Joseph, the worker, intercede for us. God's blessings.